Hi and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look at prismatic machining. So let's get right on to it. Here I have a product that has multiple levels of height, through holes as well as pockets and slots. If you want to practice with me, the download link is in the description below. Let's start with making our raw material. Insert a body inset and name it raw. For the raw material, it does not have to have a definite size as long as it's bigger than our part size. Next, make a plane. I'll just delete this whole plane and we can start making a new plane. Hide the raw material and create a new plane that has 0mm offset from the highest level of height. Change the color and opacity of the raw material by right clicking and click on properties. After that, we can head over to prismatic machining. Click start machining prismatic machining double click on part operation in this practice we will be using three axis milling as for the reference machining axis click on the dot in the middle and then click on one of the vertices of our raw material next Click on the raw material icon and double click on our raw material. Hide our raw material and select our part. Select this plane as our safety plane. After having all these selected, we can start facing our raw material. Click on the red area and then click on the bottom of our part. When the area turns green, click on the green area and then click on the highest surface of our part. And then compute and see the simulation of this process. As you can see, our raw material is faced to the correct height. Next, what we want to do after facing is create a profile. The profile is these edges over here. Click the base as the bottom layer and for the contouring, I like to do it manually to make sure that it is the contour that I want. For the top surface, click on the top and make sure that we have the correct tool size. Head over to step over. This will always be half of the diameter of the tools that we are using. Number of paths correlates to these paths over here. And the number of levels correlates to these levels right here. Next, we will do pocketing. From this view, you can see that we have a lot of different heights. In order to pocket these heights, we have to pocket it one by one. There are two ways to pocket these different heights. One of them is that you can pocket it from the top to the bottom 
but you will see later on that it will be a redundant operation as you will always have to pick the topmost level of height as your top surface. This will in turn make the end mill machine with the top layer again and again even though there's no more materials there. to go from the bottom to the top going from the bottom to the top is the most effective method as there will be no virtual redundancy If there are areas that are too small for the end mill to machine, we will be making a boundary box. So head on over to part design and create a new body and set and, and rename it as boundary. boundaries one over here and another one over here
slots who will be using a soft bottom Make sure you remove all islands by right clicking the green text and clicking on remove all islands because if we do not do that we will we will run into this problem. For the drilling, it is pretty straightforward. Click on the number of points and then click on the points where you want to drill. Ensure that we are using the correct tool. So for the first drilling, we will be using a center drill. So make sure that the depth is 2.5 millimeters. After that, click on the drilling icon again and this time we will be using a drill bit with the appropriate diameter. Thank you very much for tuning in to my channel. Until next time, leave a like, subscribe,